K-State football is in its first week of fall camp. Hard to believe that. Yeah, we've been hearing quite a bit about this, too. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get a bit more. 27 Sports Anchor Lainey Gerber at Bill Snyder Family Stadium, where she just learned about this year's team. Tell us about it. Yeah, David McKenzie, I spoke with multiple offensive assistant coaches today after practice to hear exactly how each position group is is coming along and what we can expect for this season. Now, the running backs in particular are a young group. Deuce Vaughn, he is the only veteran in the group, and he's just a junior. Jack Stanine actually helped with the running back game a lot this past season. Now, he's actually a fullback, but as a senior, he helps bring some veteran leadership to the younger backs, too. He's not the only player crossing positions. Vaughn led the team in receptions as well this past season. These two will continue to play all around the offense this year. He's a little bit of a Swiss Army knife, um, so he can fit a lot of different roles there, and he's got maybe a little bit different skill set and that he can kind of thump a little bit more than some of the other guys can. We don't want to take too much away from him getting him out, you know, out in the open because we like running him between the tackles, but definitely when he's on the field, he's a problem. Wide receivers coach Thad Ward added to that saying all good coaches get the ball to 22 and he will continue to rotate receivers a lot this season. And don't forget K-State season starts on September 3rd against South Dakota. Football season is upon us. Working for you live in Manhattan, Laney Gerber, 27 Sports.